Good morning. Good morning. Uh, uh, welcome to Massa English Quiet Time. Uh, today's today text will be uh, Second Chronicles, uh, chapter six, twenty-eight through uh, thirty-one. Uh, all right. Let's read it and then let's see context. All right. Upper version version is K J G version. Down is E S V version right so King James version uh, revised the King James version 28 right 28 yeah if there be the earth in the land if there be pestilence if there uh, be blasting or uh, mildew locust or caterpillars if their enemies besiege them in the cities of their land uh, what, uh, whatsoever a sore or whatsoever sickness there will be. 29. Then what prayer or what supplication uh, soever shall be made of any man or of uh, all thy people Israel, when everyone shall know his own soul and his own grief and shall spread forth his hands in this house. Then hear thou from heaven thy dwelling place and forgive and render unto every man according unto, unto all his ways whose heart thou knowest. For thou only knowest the hearts of the children of men, uh, what they may fear thee to walk in thy ways so long as they live in the land which thou gavest unto our fathers all right 31 yeah 28 here yeah we better uh, make a little bigger yeah uh, still. all right 28 if there is a famine in the land if there is a pestilence of a blight of a mildew or a locust or a caterpillar if their enemies besieged them in the land at their gates, whatever plague, plague, whatever sickness there is, 29. Whatever prayer, whatever plea is made known by any man or by all your people Israel, uh, each knowing his own affliction and his own sorrow and stretching out his hands toward this house. Then hear from heaven your dwelling place and uh, give and render to each whose heart you know according to his uh, all his ways for you you on, only know the hearts of the children of uh, mankind uh, 31 that they may fear you and walk in your ways all the days that they live in the land that you uh, that you gave to our fathers right Uh, today is a very simple text, uh, especially the King Solomon is praying to God, especially uh, when anyone uh, has, uh, you know, any people, any, peop uh, any uh, you know, people has any problem like uh, famine or, you know, uh, plague, like, uh, uh, like our situation in COVID-19, you know, uh, pandemic, like whatever or any uh, especially uh, disease of a grain you know so nowadays we have a flooding afterwards uh, just uh, receive the water and uh, also the grain will uh, you know fatal uh, problem will, will be caused you know because of the flooding and uh, so many problem here but not not only our country in China also you see the locust uh, you know the they uh, you know they are attacking uh, those they those uh, area areas and and also not only that an attack of enemies also attack of uh, any disease so those kind of uh, problem we just uh, uh, they brought up and happened and then they come to the this temple and they supposed to pray so what is the benefit of uh, you know our prayer pray prayer is the really privilege and uh, our right of as a christian so when you have any problem you can ask uh, god you know uh, so for instance any children any uh, child has uh, any problem just uh, 
he, he, he one may just uh, run to uh, one's uh, uh, family, you know, uh, parents uh, right away. Same thing. So we are supposed to seek the help of God all the time. So those kind of uh, problem happen in our situations in our uh, you know area. So we just uh, come to God. Yesterday, uh, in all part of Korea right now, it's just uh, uh, fatally we are just uh, experiencing flooding. You know, southern part, southern east, southern west, middle middle part, and the north part, and all parts of Korea. Uh, severely, you know, flooding and also uh, uh, so uh, disaster we are experiencing right now. So we are supposed to pray uh, right now. And today also my text is uh, Second uh, Chronicles 7:14 and the key verse of a whole uh, Second Chronicle book. So same thing. So everything, every verse is emphasizing uh, just that we should uh, humility, a humble heart, and to ask God's. Uh, favor and God's uh, you know, health and uh, the prayer is really our privilege as a Christian to ask you know, his health. And then uh, this kind of situation as the Solomon is asking God, we should uh, go to God and go to temple and we should ask uh, the help of uh, God, right? Verse 30 is uh, talking about also and he may answer you know, our prayer in uh, heaven, his place and uh, or say reward, he pay back, and uh, whatever. He knows a uh, uh, human's heart. Look at verse 30. He knows a human's, each one, uh, human's heart, you know. He knows that. And then he's the only one. So the, what is the conclusion? Verse 31 is a conclusion. So what should we do? We should fear thee. We should fear you. We should fear God, you know, to walk in uh, thy ways as long as uh, we live you know, in the land which uh, just God gave, God gave uh, you know unto uh, the uh, unto our fathers like that. So this is conclusion. So right, uh, what does it say? It talks talking about when you have a problem and just come to God and ask uh, the God's uh, favor and God's uh, help. You know that's the what does it say? Uh, what does it mean? So in our situation, so we need to have the same attitude and come forward to the get a help from God. You know exactly uh, same situation in our time, right? We should do that. And uh, what is the the third one? And the application. So same thing in our situation, especially uh, China and Japan and Korea. We uh, severely uh, because of the weather, meteorological and uh, you know. Uh, Lee and we are struggling and have uh, uh, difficulties because of flooding and uh, uh, just the mountain sliding, you know, and then all kind of a uh, uh, problem is coming up right now. So we should pray for uh, as a Christian, we have a responsibility. So now uh, God would stop all disaster and also, you know, meteorological, uh, you know, uh, we have a problem right now. Just that God would stop this and protect all people and uh, uh, a lot of loss, loss of uh, property and uh, also I'm so worried about anyone who is uh, uh, just uh, who has uh, you know they are doing uh, farming and uh, grain and uh, all fruits and uh, uh, fatal uh, problem is uh, just uh, happening right now so we just worry about in exactly the same case uh, the King Solomon talking about referring to today all right Today, especially, I wanna uh, we applied everything. Uh, I wanna just uh, suggest you to pray together, and uh, we should pray for. And also, you better learn how to pray. And when you pray, and ask uh, you know, call him, and then uh, just uh, uh, com uh, complains what we have to pray for, and uh, just uh, in the name of the Lord we pray for. All right, this is Sunday as well, so we better pray for uh, together. All right, let's uh, pray together. Uh, let's pray together. Father, we thank you for everything, and uh, you just uh, uh, just uh, wrote about, uh, especially the King Solomon's case is exactly the same in our situation in Korea. Father, we thank you for that, your mercy and your protection we ask today. And uh, so many uh, people are re really experiencing similar situation right now, and they're losing in houses, and they're losing in grains, and uh, they're farming and field, and uh, they're losing. Uh, so many uh, animals, they are just uh, uh, tending and uh, they have a problem. Father, we just uh, 
ask that and uh, heal, heal this country and protect uh, this country continually and uh, it is uh, raining from uh, a couple of days uh, more in the uh, center part uh, of this uh, Korea right now. Father just bless this country and protect all disasters. So many Christians are praying for this as uh, we just uh, having holding the promise of God like uh, in the prayer of Solomon in the temple. So when he asks the, in the name of the Lord, ask you, ask your favor and mercy and your health, and you will listen, and uh, you will just uh, block uh, heaven, and then stop the rain, and then just uh, protect all the loss of uh, uh, property, uh, Lord, and we pray for that. Father, today also uh, bless this Korea, and uh, this Korea will be uh, blessed so much, and so go forward to uh, just share the gospel to the whole world as a, a priesthood. We just uh, take up as a priesthood to the whole nation. So that's why you bless the so much in Korea. And uh, so use a Korean church to be able to share the gospel to the whole world uh, and in uh, Asia and Africa and the whole part of uh, uh, continents, especially Europe and then South America, North America and the South or South Africa. Africa continents and everywhere. So we pray for that. Father, bless this country and protect Korea and, and enable us to go forward to share the, your gospel. So we hold uh, your promise today. You just uh, told, told us and you just uh, telling about to us, Lord. And also we just we want to may, uh, may uh, just uh, fear you all the days of our lives forever, Lord. You are the only God. You are the only source of our power. You are the only uh, salvation and you are deliverer. And we believe that, Father. We thank you. You will just uh, recover and uh, heal this country. And we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. So, powerfully pray for, and today especially, we need uh, uh, really God's help, you know. So, the text is really talking about exactly the same thing. And uh, when we have a problem, come before the Lord. He will listen. He will. Uh, this is the promise of God. So uh, as we prayed, and God will work, you know, stop the rain and uh, no more loss and just uh, have a problem in Korea. And uh, we should uh, suppose as Christian, we have a responsibility to pray for this country. Amen. Have a good Sunday. Have good worship.